Lobby Tools, Florida's legislative intelligence company. Subscribe today to Florida's leading policy, budget, and campaign tracking service. Request a free trial today at LobbyTools.com. Teachers came by bus from every corner of the state. Then they marched to the Capitol in mass, taking up Governor Ron DeSantis on his call to make 2020 the year of the teacher. These teachers say this is about a whole lot more than just a pay raise. We're losing PE, we're losing programs that are meaningful to the students. The crowd, estimated at over 10,000, was far bigger than the governor's own inauguration last year. Teachers don't do it for the salaries. Our support professionals don't do it for the salaries. They don't even make a living wage, but that has to change. On Friday, the State Department of Education sent an email to Polk County teachers who, with about 1,500 making the trip, may have had the biggest turnout of any county, telling them that their absences for the rally could be considered an illegal strike. And we are here with you today in Tallahassee. Polk teachers who made the trip say the memo backfired. I think it rallied more people and I think it drew people closer together. Yes, absolutely. We had more from our school personally. We had more people rally together and come after that email was sent. So it did not do its job of scaring us away. In the end, the union is asking for a 10% pay hike for everyone who works in a school. We are those who are being crushed by student debt. We are those who are being crushed by skyrocketing health care. It's a heavy lift by any legislative standard. The cost would be right about $2.4 billion this year alone. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Mike Vasilinda.